Hello, and welcome all to this demo of Mercury, an After Effects script that allows you to quickly create the illusion of viscid liquid using any shape layer, illustrator path, solid, or non-native image. Simply run the script and start animating. Let's take a look at how easy it is to integrate Mercury into your workflow. As you can see, we have a very simple comp of just three white circles. If you go to Window, scroll to the bottom, select Mercury, you'll be presented with a small dockable user interface that you can set anywhere in your workspace for convenient use. To get started, simply tap Run Mercury. Instantaneously, you'll notice some big changes happening in your viewport. Notice how the shapes have all started to meld together. I can animate these shapes, and they'll interactively reshape and reform with others in their surroundings, giving off the illusion of viscid liquid. Another thing that you'll notice is that a mercury control null has been added to the scene. This is where you can control all the parameters that drive mercury. If you unshy the shy switch, you can also see a mercury adjustment layer. All of this information is fully customizable within the mercury control null, so I keep that switched off. Before we dive too deep into the mercury control null, let's take a look at some examples of what mercury can do. Here we have a number of multicolored circles just floating around. Next I added a simple wiggle pass to each, and then ran the mercury script. Here we have a basic particle system created with CC Particle World. Then I ran the Mercury script and changed the particle color to a flat, consistent orange. As you can see, the applications for a script like this are virtually limitless. I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Now let's look at the Mercury Control Null and how you can customize this effect to suit your needs. The first two parameters you will see are border and blur. These are the two at the heart of how Mercury functions. Increasing the border will thicken the effect and decreasing will thin out the influence of the effect. Blur, like border, will also increase and decrease the thickness based upon the strength. I use blur to soften the edges created by the border effect, so use these two in tandem. The last four parameters, jiggle smoothness, turbulence point, evolution, and jiggle amount, all go and work together to influence the jiggle of the underlying graphic asset. I advise increasing the jiggle amount and playing with the jiggle smoothness, these two work in tandem. A higher jiggle smoothness will result in a smaller amplitude, less pronounced edge movement. And adversely, a lower jiggle smoothness will result in a more pronounced, higher amplitude edge movement. Animate the turbulence point and jiggle evolution to really make the animation come alive. A quick word of advice, if you're not seeing this effect applied, unshy the shy switch Make sure that the Mercury Adjustment layer is above all of your graphic assets. Also, never put a background layer in this composition. If you go one composition above and pre-comp, then you can add your background layer, no problem. If you're unable to load Mercury from the Window menu in After Effects, make sure your script is properly installed in the Script UI Panels folder. You can reach that by going to After Effects, Scripts, Script UI Panels, and here you can see my version of Mercury. Restart After Effects, and you're good to go. Thank you for watching this demo on Mercury. I look forward to seeing how each and every one of you interprets and applies the script into your own personal workflow. Download Mercury for After Effects exclusively on aescripts.com.